ladies and gentlemen. So what I need you to do, I need you to turn to the next page in your science journal, please. And what I'd like you to do is write down the question, what is an engineer? And just to make it fun, why not put it in a thinking bubble? We're thinking about it and we're going to discuss it. So what I'd like you to do is I want you to turn to your neighbor. I want you to come up with a list of things you think an engineer is, could be, or does. So you've got two minutes to come up with a list of things that you think an engineer is, does, or could be. All right? Let's go. Two minutes. Make your list. What's something that an engineer might do? You don't even have to write I think because we're just kind of getting out ideas. Just write a list of things. Okay, so so creator kind of thing. So like they make stuff. Okay, so just draw a line that's really pretty. Okay. Count it out. There you go. There's the thought. Okay. So there is no right or wrong. It's kind of like our hypothesis. What do we think? So you can't be wrong. Well, you said you think there's wrong, so you could be wrong. But if you keep it on point, then you'll be fine. Here's the thing. Okay, keep going. You've got about one more minute to come up with a list of things that you think an engineer could be, what they do, where they work. Well, they could work outside or they could work. Depends on maybe what their job type is, right? So you can have that, you can have that listed inside outside. That would work. Because as a teacher, sometimes I'm inside a classroom and sometimes the teacher is in field investigation, right? All right, give me some of your ideas and let's make a list. So, Nico, what's one of the thoughts you guys came up with? A planner. Ooh. So, an engineer should be a planner of some kind. I like that. That's kind of something you guys do every day, or teachers do. Mia, something else. Okay, so they can work with electricity. Kelly, what do you got? So work to create things. So they're creative. So when you go to art class and you're creating things, you're kind of channeling an inner engineer. Because you're building or making something that no one else has thought of before. Elijah, what do you got? Man, if I get time. Tyler, the rule on the door is we do not leave our seat or answer the door without first seeking permission. Yes, sir. I am out of tissues. I apologize. I'm sorry. Elijah, what was something? Huh? We've got, they're a planner. They might work with electricity. They can work to create. What's something else that an engineer might do, what they could be, what kind of work could they be involved with? What else did you write down? Huh? I cannot hear you, so you've got to speak up. All right, we'll move on and I'll come back to you in a second. Quinton, what did your group come up with? Maybe they are involved with repairs? Because if they design and create, nobody is better to repair it than themselves. All right, Elijah, we're back to you. What else can we write down? So, blueprints, or so they have to be able to draw their ideas? Okay. Draw ideas, and then Quentin added the word blueprint. Kind of like something to design by. Okay. So, we're going to stop there. We're going to stop there. Because we're going to see if our ideas change after we complete today's activity. We're kind of trying to get our starting thoughts and then our ending thoughts to see what do we need to keep, what do we need to edit. So this is what I need you to do. Look at your table. Bunch of random stuff, right? Let me tell you the story about how this stuff came here. You ordered a toy online. 
and it showed up and it was broken. Your mom didn't know it was broken, so she threw away the box that it came in. But it's broken. You can't do anything with it. So what you're going to do is you're going to ship it back to the company. Because if you get every single piece of the toy back into the box and back to the company, they'll send you a replacement toy, one that's not broken. So you and your table are going to have 10 minutes to come up with a plan and to pack that container with every single item that you see on your tray. If it doesn't make it in the tray or doesn't make it in the container, you don't get your replacement toy. You've got 10 minutes on your mark, get set, and go. What's up, science is fine. Sam and I have pushed the chair. What's up, science? What's up, science? What do you mean they can it can smash on it? What property are you talking about? If I can smash on it. Well, what do we say when something takes up space? What kind of what what word is that? Well liquid take up space also. So what do we say when I know how much space something takes up? Normally we use like a grad volume. So if I can squish it, what does that tell you about the object? You can change it. Change it. Volume. Now, how come I can't take this? Oh, one other thing. You cannot break any of the pieces to get them in the container. They have to appear as they do on your tray. So my next question is, why do some things like marble not change their volume? Because it's well, this is solid too. What's the difference between that solid and this solid? So what would be a word to describe it if it has air on the inside instead of glass like a marble? Have you ever heard of the word hollow? So it's hollow. Well, tree trunks aren't hollow. They're, no, they're solid. Tree trunks are solid. So this, because it has air, is hollow, so I can squeeze air out and it takes up less space. You've been working for about two minutes. Remember, this is bug up science. I don't mind if you're standing. Please stand behind a push in chairs. Oh, 
Okay, well, that's going to be too big, right? So, so maybe we take that out with the marbles. Oh, we forgot that out there. We put out all the marbles in it. Is there anything else? Do we have room to fit anything Wait, else? Wait, we'll put out the meter since that's going to be too big.
You guys did the opposite. So I'm trying to think, what else did you guys do? I'm trying to figure out how we could attack this better. Okay, so you tried to take smaller things and fill in the spaces that were left behind. All right, table five, what did you all do? Okay. So you tried to layer it. So then what kind of stuff did you end up at the top of your container? Um, would you say they were hard or squishy? I don't know. Um, Most well, hard and some squishy. So the green toy is squishy. Okay. And things, mostly if you did the rubber ducky, then the light at the top, it would be squishy. All right. So what did you all do? Yeah, so, yeah, it is kind of like a Lego thing. All right, can you do this favor for me, please? Will you take all the materials and empty them out of your plastic container? If you put anything inside of your Play Doh container, take that out. Now, for my three tables that missed the postman, can you write down the steps that you took and something that you would change about your process? Something that, so after sharing and seeing what the other two tables did that worked for them, how would you change the steps you took? So you put all, so one thing you could say is we put all of our hard things that were not plastic on the bottom of our container. Right? That's what, that was your plan. So would you do that the next time I think we have challenge with it? What would you do instead? So that I can change the volume. So I just want you kind of reflecting on things that worked and things that didn't work. Okay, we're done. So things that worked, things that didn't work. You should have more than a sentence of all the steps you took of packing your container. We got about two minutes to get over. Two minutes to come up with a list of things that you did and things that you might change for next time. So this all has to be, um, right? So what would you do differently next time? Is there anything that you might change about how you work together? So maybe talked about it a little bit first instead of just jumping right in. So add that. Okay. So it kind of fills the bottom, but that's what some other groups did and it didn't work out. So it's kind of good that you changed your mind on that. Okay. So then write down maybe that you would plan a little bit more before going into it. So things, so just positives, so things you think really work or negatives, things that we would like to change. One more minute, kiddos. Talk about some things that you might change the next time you had a project like this. So what would you change? Because you got it, but I mean, you are close to not making it. So what were the things that you changed when the lid kept popping off? You went back and you changed your packing strategy. So what did you change about it? Well, I know you put different things in different places, but describe them. Did you put the soft things? Did you put the squishy things? How did you change it? What objects did you change? Okay. So you laid them flat inside your container and then you put the cotton balls on top. So that would be something that you would want to record is that you noticed that it didn't work. So you put the hard things that were not flexible on the bottom. So you knew those things weren't going to change space. They weren't going to change their volume. It was going to stay the same. So then you put things like cotton ball where if I just push on it, I can change the volume, right? So those are things that you should be writing down as you're reflecting. You should be writing those things down, Elijah, as you're reflecting. Okay, finish up your sentence or two or your list, however you decided to record your responses. We're going to take our hands off the trays now. We're going to take our hands off the items on the tray. 
I know they're fun things to play with. Mr. Meerman and I had a great time getting all this stuff together and dreaming this up at our kitchen table yesterday. But the reason I wanted you to do this is we're talking about what an engineer is. So this project, this challenge, this problem that you just answered is very similar to a problem that somebody who is a packaging engineer would face. Now a packaging engineer, their job is to kind of build and design different product packaging based on what the company wants. So maybe the company wants to spend less money on the amount of cardboard that they use. So it becomes the engineer's challenge to say, the, the computer that we built is gonna stay exactly the same size. We wanna change the size of the box. How can you make that happen? And so engine product or uh, packaging engineers, they get together with their team, they get all the materials in front of them, and they make a plan and they work it out. Now, to be a pro or to be a packaging engineer, to be a packaging engineer, you need to go to school for four years. So the most, or not the most, but the schools that are considered to be the best in getting that kind of degree are the University of or Rutgers University, Michigan State University, and the University of Florida. So what they do is you go to school for four years and while you're kind of getting better with your science and knowing different properties like volume or surface area, squishy or inflexible, knowing that kind of science of the materials, then what they do while they're in school is they go and work for different companies and call them internship. So they would work with those other companies, they kind of figure out what they learned in school and how does that work when they're in the job, and then they eventually grow up to become a packaging engineer, okay? So now let's look at our list. What is an engineer? Did you have to plan in order to pack your container? Yes. So planner should say, did we use electricity to help to make this project work? No. no. So that one, as far as this, wouldn't work. Did we work to create something? Yes. Yeah, we had to take these materials and make them work together. Did we have to make any repairs to our plan? Yes. Did any of you have the list pop off? Yes. And have to kind of go back and figure out, okay, well that didn't work, so let's make that happen. So that goes with your planning and repairs. Did you draw out your ideas or make a blueprint? Not so much. So to be maybe make this happen quicker, that's something that we could try in the future. All right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come around, and you are going to draw a slip of paper out of the Ziploc bag. All right? On this Ziploc bag, there is the name of a type of engineer. That engineer, you and your shoulder partner, are going to research. So things I'm looking for. Do they have to go to school? Do they have to go to a four-year university? Do they have to do an internship? I mean, like practice while they're going to school? Do they work with somebody who is already that type of engineer? Kind of get a better feeling of what they should be doing with all this school knowledge that they have. And then you're also going to come up to with two or three sentences that kind of describe what the day in the life of that type of engineer is. So if you are a packaging engineer, you make a package and then you try not you try not to break it. Or you take a really big box and you try to turn it into a smaller box. So they're doing a lot of butts up science and hands on as they go. Does that kind of make sense? Okay. So after you choose your engineer, I'm going to give you kind of a checklist of things that you're going to do. You're going to report all this information on a piece of um, manila paper to kind of make a poster. All right? So that's kind of how the rest of our class time is going to go. Okay. Make sense? All right. While we're waiting, if you are the one or the four at your table, can you start logging into the laptop? I figure since ones and fours get to do laptops, I'll have twos and threes pick paper. That seems fair. Oh, you can hardly contain yourself, Chloe. Well, that's how they can't log in with paper. That's me. Oh, you need to try. You pick one. How much do you pick one? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, so on the left side of your science journal. Oh, you did pick two? On the left side of your science journal, would you please write down the title of your engineer? On the left side of your science journal, you're going to write down what type of engineer, yeah. What type of engineer are you going to be researching? You will, because what's going to happen is after you make your poster, you're going to share what you learned about your engineering class. Stand up, hold it, and let everybody know what you learned. Because as long as there are problems on this planet, there's lots of different kinds. Not just, will it fit in a box and can I ship it? It's like, how am I going to get people who live way up here in the mountains, get them down to the bottom where the doctor is safely? That's our, those are problems that engineers are kind of asked and faced depending on what they do. Robotics engineers, they might have something totally different. But how can I make a robot that would can do this dangerous, do this dangerous work because it's not safe for people to do it? So they kind of always are looking at ways they can use what they know about science to improve the lives of others. Yeah. You're going to find out. That's the whole idea is you're going to research to figure out what a civil engineer is. Alright, you got a mat to pull on the table, so when you need to slide forwards, you kind of use your feet to pull the chair forward. If you pull on the table, then you're going to end up squishing yourself for the next one. And you'll be a pancake type instead of a person. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, like always, once you get logged in, where does Miss Nierman save websites or information that she wants to share with you? My computer, and then we click on S, Pan, what Read only, because you're not creating it here. So read only. Wait for the full screen to load. These are old laptops that are So if you try to give them too much information at one time, you freak out. So wait until everything is clear and then you make the selection. Remember, you're supposed to be able to give me a two to three sentences that describe what this engineer does in a day. What does their job kind of look like? You are going to go and walk around with this type of engineer. Then you're going to tell me what kind of schooling do they need so they become this kind of engineer, and do they do any practice before they get hired? Yep. Engineering, that's what we're clicking on. Engineering docs. Docs just means it's a word document. It just means it's a type of file. If it's moving slow, sometimes if you try a right click, it makes it go a little bit better. So right click instead. <laughs> Do your research first before you write it on the website. Okay, so I would put it in your science journal first.
that you know what information that you want to work with. Before you start working on your poster, before you start working on the poster, you want to make sure you've got the website. Okay. Are you writing it here? Are we searching
yum, okay. Now type in, what is a food engineer? Hold on a moment, I want to look at your Ask your partner or ask your If that's what came up, I didn't see what your search results were. Normally, you want to wait for me to take a look at what the search results are, so you don't click on something that's going to make you in trouble. Okay, we understand that you were excited. Look, there's a whole magazine dedicated. Here you go, with, with pictures. Let's take a look at that one. Alright, so then click on the gray square next to your search box. Now, backspace button and type in what is a robotic Spaces go. It's not a website, it's an actual question. So you have to hit spaces. <coughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, by 9.05, we're hoping to be sharing our results of our research. That gives you a grand total of about seven minutes for our quick read and answering those questions of what does, give me two to three sentences of what this type of engineer does, give me a, um, what kind of schooling do they need, and do they have to do like an internship or practice at being an engineer before they actually become an engineer, robotics and engineering science. Wait, where's those questions? They gave you the checklist. Yeah, let's put it on. You're supposed to write it in your science journal. So this is all the things that they could do. They could invent the next generation of robotic toys. They could escape the kind of play with the humanoids. Now let's get back to the science. Hold on, I'm working with the group. So can you ask? Um, Anthony or Akshita for some help. Um, here you go. Robotics engineer job description career at the robotics So this is what kept you right there. You already know what kind of education you need, and that was one of the questions that you had. Okay, so they use computer programs to design and drawing. Okay, so that's the sentence. So that's the soil engineer. So environmental engineer, soil. Um, I would go with yes. Yes. Different things. I'm going to work with food at very small levels, right? To preserve. 
Put it right there. So my job, if I walked in, it's like, okay, bluebell ice cream wants to make a, a make an ice cream that's gonna last longer after it's all just, all right, go to work. So that might be a problem that I would face. So I could expect that in my job. So two to three sentences are supposed to describe if I walk in the doors to my my food engineering job. What are like three things that I'm gonna have to be excluded from my job? Is that perfect, Tyler? So where's your pencil, Tyler? So what is, what do you have written down? So far. Okay, that's one thing. So that might be, okay, we need to make a, potato, a new flavor of potato chips. Go to town, right? That might be something I can do. So you're just, you need to come up with two other examples of something I might do as a food engineer. Okay? <laughs> to my desk, what's one thing that I'm going to have to be able to do in my day? What's the second and the third thing that I'm going to have to be able to take care of in my day? Next, what kind of schooling am I going to need? Do I need to go to school for four years? Do I need to get just a bachelor's? Do I need to have a master's degree, which would be six years of school? Do I have to be a doctor and have a doctorate in water engineering? What kind of schooling am I going to need? And am I going to need to practice with other water engineers before I can become a water engineer? All right, ladies and gentlemen, hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Akshita Anthony, hands up. Turn around, please. If your hands are up, you can't write anything because they're up in the air. Like, you just don't care. Turn it around, Carlos. Here is the next step. By this point, your research should be complete. 20 minutes of trying to figure out what does my engineer do in a day? Here are three things that they would do in their day. This is the kind of school they're going to need to go to. They're going to have to practice with somebody who's already that engineer. Or nope, they're not going to have to practice with somebody who's that type of engineer. Now, with that being said, I need you logging out of the computers because you're done. Your job now is to take what you wrote in your science journal. That's why I said to write the information in your science journal first. Now you're going to follow the checklist to make your poster. 
That gives you a grand total of 24 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. 24 minutes. Mark, set and go. 